Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure to be out here in nature and greeting you, knowing that I'm bringing a message of emancipation to you while listening to the song of this running river. It always reminds me that our life is right, is mapped out right in nature. For every river will end its course into the sea, and the sea represents eternity, no beginning, no end. And our life is a journey from humanity to divinity. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, I want to speak to you concerning a Bible story. But before I go on with this Bible story, I want to let you know that the Bible is not a religious book to me. For I teach that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, that the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history, and that the Bible was written symbolically. Therefore, all of these parables in the Bible have to deal, have to do with your psyche. Now, when we speak about Salomon, um, Samson, most people know the story of Samson and Delilah, but I realize that this story could be taken from many different angles. So I'm taking it from the angle of Samson and the seven locks. Okay? Now, where I'm living, there are many, many Rasta men. I'm filming, I'm filming right now. Yeah, there are many Rasta men who refer to Samson and Delilah. Who refer to Samson and Delilah. But none of them have seven locks per se. Because it doesn't literally mean seven literal locks. Now, those seven locks is teaching you something about yourself that you must discover. Now, you see, your backbone is Jacob's ladder. And up that backbone, there's 33 vertebra. That's the reason why they tell you the Christ died at 33. And it tells you that as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. And the serpent and the pole is representing your energy. The, your energy that locates at the base of your spine. And when you have your awakening. It is because your seven chakras will open and it will go all up to your head. So it is showing you the connection. It is teaching you of the vibration, energy and frequency. That when you are not connected with your higher self, that you will forget your powers. You will lose all of your powers because you're giving your power away to Delilah, which is a system. So the system is set up to rob you of your seven locks. To rob you of your power. To rob you of the truth of the seven chakras. And that is why the Bible, through all the whole book of Revelation, is telling about seven, 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 seven. Seven this, seven that, seven this, seven that. And seven is completion. It's where you come into Sabbath, it's where you come into rest. And the only time you can come into rest. A true Sabbath is when you come to your true salvation, which is self-realization. So each and every day, as you become more conscious of who you are, and you can create your reality consciously, and you have a desire to create something, when you create that thing, you no longer have the desire. You come into rest, you come into Sabbath. But when you come into full self-realization, that is Sabbath of all Sabbaths. That's the true rest. So let me get back to Samson here and the seven locks. 
Delilah has to do with the educational system, the political system, the religious system. That is out here to rob you from discovering your higher self, or the highest version of yourself, or your magical self, or your Christ self. They are robbing you of the power that is within you. And they are keeping you blind. They are keeping you blind to the truth. So when you talk about the Philistines, all your negative self-doubt and all your negative thoughts and all your religious and political beliefs and your educational beliefs that is robbing you from a higher self and keeping you blind to the truth. All of those things represent Delilah and the Philistines. So the Philistines is always out to get you. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters as soon as you come out of your mother they have an artificial light to affect you and then your parents were also brainwashed they too from their teaching gonna teach you to be blind and to be powerless so this whole system is the Delilah system. And those behind the system who want you to think a certain way, they are the real Philistines. So my brother and my sister, it's not a story that took place thousands of years ago. It's something that's happening even now as I speak and be happening all the time it all has happened. So there are many men and women who have lost their seven locks. They're no longer being a Nazarite because they're not separated unto themselves because they're not embracing the self. So they say Samson was a Nazarite and took a Nazarite vow. When you vow to be ruled by self-government, that's when you really take your true Nazarite vow to be led and guided and guide, to be led and guided by your own intuition and to believe in your own self and to look to self for whatever you need in this life. That is when you will start to get your strength back. And then when you get among those who want to keep you oppressed and keep you blinded and play games on you and make a fool out of you because you are giving away your strength you are giving away your energy you are giving away your, your creative power to someone else outside of yourself believing that there's a God in the sky and believing that there was a, there's a literal man who existed 2000 years ago named Jesus Christ and not knowing that the Bible is your own biography. Not knowing the story of Psalms and Delilah is your own biography. Not knowing you are the one with seven locks. That will empower you. They will keep you blind. But when you get between the two poles. And you understand the love polarity. And you understand the laws that governs the universe and governs all of humanity. When you understand how the conscious and the subconscious mind works. When you understand the inner world and the outer world. When you understand the inner self and the outer self. When you understand all of these things. When you understand the law of gender. When you understand the laws of cause and effect. When you understand the law of mentalism. And the list goes on and on of all the laws. When you understand these things. And you grab a hold of them. You will be able to shake down. 
all of the Philistines with all of the tactics and destroy all of the Philistine and Delilah at the same time. But remember, you will have to face the death of self, the death of ego, the death of accepting deception. So you have to die to yourself. So it is only when you are willing to die to yourself you will be able to destroy all the Philistines out of your life and, and Delilah out of your life. So my brother and my sister, there's so much Delilah all the Philistines, Philistines out there that is competing for your mind to control you and to rule over you but here am I saying to you not to sleep with Delilah not to give your power to Delilah keep your seven locks up on your head and someday you'll be able to boss your crown chakra because you will know that you're here deals with frequency, energy, and vibration, and that your thoughts, that vibrational frequency. So my brother and my sisters, you know that whole story about Samson and Delilah, I can take it from many, many, many different angles, but I'm taking it from this angle and bringing it to you. And I hope what I would have said, that it resonates with you and it makes sense to you. And if it does, I'm encouraging you to share, or to like, or to comment and always remember this message I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 622 says if I be single your whole body will be full of light and when I had the experience of bossing my crown chakra I come to understand Matthew 622 what it means therefore I'm saying to you when you have the experience you will come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life and that without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination. And the human imagination parallels the sun. And we are the people of the sun and being powered by the sun. Therefore, my encouragement to you is that for you to give away your mind power to Delilah. But believe in yourself and destroy your Philistine by believing in using your mind power to achieve your every desire. So that means I want to say peace, love you all.